We're going to make a brief video today to show you the Advanced Power Incorporated ALC 1275. It's our advanced level control. The purpose of this unit is to maintain the water level in your tank. This is done electronically and we're going to show you today how this works. Here we have an installed ALC 1275. We've got it installed on the back of this solar system and we have the wires ran over to the tank. Most of the time we will bring our sensing wire down the delivery pipe to the tank. We will hang the sensing wires in the tank at whatever level you wish to maintain or where you wish to maintain your level is where you'll set your sensors. I would like to say People always ask us, where's the rest of my sensor? Where's the rest of my level control kit? This is the functioning end of your control kit. These two male and female spade connectors are what come on the end of your kit, and there is no other piece involved. This is a complete system. This is the ends that you get, and this is all that needs to go in your tank. Each ALC 1275, comes standard with 20 foot of 18 or 20 gauge wire. Should you need to go further than that, if it's further than that from your unit to your tank, then you can splice on a light gauge 18 or 20 gauge to make it reach further than the 20 feet that comes standard. We are now going to demonstrate how simple it is to use the ALC 1275. As you can see, this pump is running the pump is running at this time. We're going to put the leads in the water and there should be an eight to 10 second delay before the pump turns off. As you can see, it has shut off. The pump has quit and the stream is fading away and now completely quit. That is how simple it is to use our ALC 1275 electronic water level controller or electronic tank level controller. Now, if we raise those out of the water, if the cattle had came and drank and taken the water away from the sensing ends, that will turn the pump back on after the same eight to 10 second delay. Now that the pump is running, we're just gonna dip it in and out very quickly to show you what it would be like with waves coming against it. We have the eight to 10 second delay in place to ensure that waves do not surge the pump off and on. It must maintain connection in the water for a full 8 to 10 seconds and then it will shut the power off to the pump, as you can see.